my name is Evan Jacobs and welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. Uh, hold on, I'm just adjusting something here. All right, and we have a very interesting bout uh, with uh, Vas Vasily Lomachenko versus Jermaine Ortiz. Lomachenko is 34, Ortiz is 36. Lomachenko is 5'7", Ortiz is 5'8". They're both 135. 65 reach for Lomachenko, 69 for Ortiz. Lomachenko, 16 wins, 2 losses. And Jermaine Ortiz, 16 wins, no losses, 12 rounds. This is scheduled for 3-minute rounds. 10-point uh, must scoring system, no mandatory 8-count. 3-knockdown um, rule wave. This is happening October 29th. So, um, yeah. I am uh, looking forward to this. I always love when Vasil Lomachenko fights. Uh, he's have not been as active recently, but I believe that has everything to do with him uh, taking time off to uh, help the war effort in the Ukraine. Um, and it's you know, very admirable that him, uh, Olesandr Usyk, have uh, done that. And you have Ortiz now trying to kind of go behind the jab. Uh, he wants to use his physical tools, his um, height and his reach, and hoping that that gives uh, Vasil Lomachenko problems. We'll see. Um, you know, conventional wisdom is that Vasil Lomachenko should win this fight, but it also one kind of wonders, you know, he is 34, Ortiz is 26. Can Ortiz come in and just put it all together and have an amazing performance um, that we will have to see? Um, oh, and Ortiz landing. You know, and also it, it seems like Ortiz will be like com competitive for like, you know, maybe like the first few rounds and then Vasil Lomachenko will take over, kind of figure it out. That's kind of what he does. Uh, we'll see. Right now, you know, or, or Ortiz being a live guy in front of him. Uh, Lomachenko just landing, doing the things that he needs to do. And Ortiz, I'm telling you, doing well behind that. You know, I, I, I'm not saying that he's winning this round, but I mean, very well could be, oh, and he wobbles Lomachenko. Was not expecting that. We're less than a minute into this round, and has Ortiz figured something out? You know, Lomachenko, I you know he was dropped um, by, oh gosh, uh, I want to say, oh gosh, um, his name is failing me right now. I'll, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. But wow. Um, so it's interesting to see, you know, this. And Lomachenko backs up after that, kind of probably trying to clear the cobwebs. Um, and Jermaine Ortiz showing he's not here to be an opponent. He is here to fight. He's here. And also that uh, buzzing sound that you hear in this, that is my fan. I just have it on. It's gotten a little bit hot again. It's going to be supposedly hot till Wednesday. So, you know, hey, let's just kind of, you know, we're just going to kind of go with it. All right, and uh, Jermaine Ortiz landing well in that last round, and one judge gives it to Ortiz, another judge gives it to Ortiz, and another and one judge gives it to Ortiz 10-8. So Lomachenko behind by four points as we move into the second round. So things are already getting interesting in this lightweight bout. And um, here, you know, I'm gonna look up that fighter. It's really bothering me that I can't remember it. Oh, look at that, Vasil Lomachenko. Oh, wow, and he wobbles Jermaine Ortiz. So Vasil Lomachenko finding a way back into this fight. Lands that right hand, and Ortiz buckles. And now Lomachenko, oh, and Lomachenko's got him now. Seems like, seems like he has him. Seems like he wants to make a statement. 
and he's got to be smart. He doesn't want to get caught. He did get clipped in that in that first round. Um, wow, guys, we're seeing a lot going on. This is a lot more competitive than I thought it would be. And wow, Vasil Lomachenko losing that first round big comes back to really wobble, buckle, and hurt Ortiz. Lomachenko now touching Ortiz to the to the body. We'll see if if. If maybe Vasil Lomachenko used that round to figure some things out, and now he is going to go in for the uh, kill. Um, once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and follow. Please share these links with your family and friends. Please tell people about this. Um, we've been getting followers every week. I am overjoyed. I am grateful. Uh, I think we're going to be at 250 then 300 before too long. You know, and and. This is just a fun thing. I, I really enjoy doing this podcast. I, I, I It helps keep me sharp in the world of boxing. Plus, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to the Teddy Atlas podcast. I listen to the Chris Mannix podcast. I listen to the... Uh, oh, wow. And he wobbles Jermaine Ortiz again. Vasil Lomachenko finding a home for that right hand and having a much better round than he did in that first stanza. Um, so, anyway, you know, been doing this been doing this i just do it you know it's a fun thing and um like i said listen to those podcasts teddy atlas chris mannix i've even been listening to the dan uh, Raphael podcast just you know it's just upping my knowledge on this great great game getting some you know and, and, and it helps me when i do this podcast it makes me want to be better and of course listening to the dan levitard show which i pattern my podcast after by doing a very um what's the word a sloppy podcast um, it works for that show. So, you know, and I'll get to the record of uh, Jermaine Ortiz um, in this uh, in this next round. And I'm going to find the name of that fighter that we saw drop Lomachenko. It's going to really bother me when I see it. But he has Jermaine Ortiz hurt. And um, wow. Okay, so let's see. Jorge Linares was that fighter, and Lomachenko turns it around, 10-9, 10-9, 10-8, so he does it. So now, folks, we have an even fight. This is a 10-round fight now between these two guys. Let's see who can kind of come out and make it work for him, and Jermaine Ortiz appears to want to be doing that, and Vasil Lomachenko has to be careful. He was wobbled, although Ortiz seemed to really get hurt from uh, Vasil, Vasil Lomachenko. There's just something about that lanky style. Fighting from a distance, doing doing that, that really seems to be getting to Lomachenko. And you know what? While we're here, we can just talk about Vasil Lomachenko's records. Victory over Richard Comey. Victory over uh, Nakatani, Masa, Masayashi Nakatami. That lost to Tiafimo Lopez. Um, you know, we can talk about the injury, but, you know, hey, Tiafimo Lopez beat him that night. And, and you know, Lomachenko, kind of like... Um, Gennady Golovkin recently got got going, but it was just too late. Victory over Luke Campbell, Anthony Crawler, Jose Pedraza, Jorge Linares, Guillermo Rigondo, Mar Mar Miguel Mariaga, Jason Sosa, Nicholas Walter, Ramon Martinez, Kamalo. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, just like a Hughes who, Gary Allen Russell Jr. Um, or and, and I'm, I'm just saying that was in his third fight beats Gary Russell Jr. Or um, you know has that loss to Orlando. You know, has that loss to Orlando Salido, which was his second fight. Many think that it could have been a fluke. Either way, folks, you know, Vasil Lomachenko, the record stands. And he's going to, you know, he's he's going to have some really good competitive fights at lightweight. We got Tank Davis at lightweight, even though I don't know that Tank Davis is really a welterweight. He's really a lightweight anymore. Uh, now we have Shakur Stevenson. Uh, we have Devin Haney. We have... Um, uh, uh, George Cambosis, uh, Ryan Garcia. There's just a lot of guys. So there's a lot going on at this weight. Vasil Lomachenko seems to figure into it, even though he is, I don't want to say on the other side of his career, but he maybe isn't the Vasil Lomachenko that dominated a Yermo Rigondo so effectively. Oh, and they are just pounding, folks. And uh, I'm telling you, I, I don't think Jermaine Ortiz wants to be doing this. I, I, I just don't think, I, I think he's taking a beating. I think he's getting beaten up on the inside. He's taking those body shots. And Vasil Lomachenko is now drawing him out. He's kind of pot, pot shotting. And don't get me wrong, Jermaine Ortiz having his moment right there, lands a left hand. But uh, 
you know, it, it just seems like Vasily Lomachenko is doing the greater damage. Uh, Lomachenko's breathing heavier, or Ortiz is obviously tired. One judge gives it to Ortiz, another judge gives it to Ortiz, another one judge gives it to Lomachenko. So Lomachenko down by a point. Ah, there's Jermaine Ortiz gives him problems, but Vasil Lomachenko just seems to. It's it, it, it's almost like people think that uh, Vasil Lomachenko is just going to come on. It kind of reminds me of. Um, there was a fight I saw years ago between Orlando Canizales, and I forget who the fighter was, and there was just this sort of thing that Canizales was being outboxed, outworked, you know, for like the first early rounds, and everyone expected him to come on, but he didn't. So who knows if that's going to happen to Vasil Lomachenko, although he is coming on here. He's not in the hard shots, and it's just, it's interesting. It's interesting the way he has to fight. He's sort of Joe Frazier to the to Jermaine Ortiz's Ali. But Vasil is so good, so quick, all, you know, fights so well using all those angles. Um, and once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and follow. Um, I think I'm probably going to do Spence Crawford next, although I might do, in a way, Paul Butler. Um, there's the Warren... There's the Warrington Alberto Lopez fight. This is a Peter Pro Gray fight, and there's Jana Beck's fight. So, you know, uh, and, and then that I want to say is twa is um, it might be December first. I need to get the dates correct on that. But either way, we got fights coming up, fights lined up. Plan to do them all here on Boxing Time TV, where our motto is: Why wait? Watch it now, then watch the real thing when it airs and compare. Vasil Lomachenko fighting with that high guard. This is where he wants to be. Wants to be on the inside. Does not want to be on the outside. He seems to get hit from the long arms of Ortiz. Ortiz getting taken, just taking it with an uppercut. And just taking two uppercuts, body, body shot. And he just... Vasil Lomachenko just doing this incredible work. It's almost like it's all for naught for Jermaine Ortiz. He's trying. He's doing his thing. And he's going to the body here. He's hurting him. And... Landing a left hand and oh, and another body shot. And I'm telling you, Vasil Lomachenko is doing a lot of good work here. He, he maybe isn't as active as Jermaine Ortiz, although it seems to be in this round. Vasil Lomachenko appears to be taking this over, folks. It's almost like he tasted the power of Jermaine Ortiz and is now like, okay, that's what you got. It didn't get me down. I'm not going to worry too much. Going to the body there. I'm telling you, it's the body work that's going to pay the dividends in this fight. Should Vasil Lomachenko, should Jermaine Ortiz get knocked out? It's going to be because of all this work that Vasil Lomachenko did to take the fight out of him. Saying Ortiz is tired, Lomachenko's breathing heavy. 10-9 for Lomachenko. Another 10-8 for Lomachenko. And now 10-10. So Vasil Lomachenko now up by two points as we go into the fifth round. So is Jermaine Ortiz going to make a send? He comes out, he, he catches Lomachenko to the body, but Lomachenko catches him up top. Folks, I'm telling you, both guys right in this. <laughs> oh, and, and Jermaine Ortiz having a having a moment. I don't know if this is a last stand or what, but he's having a moment. 
And Vassilo Macheco just being very, very workmanlike, economical, almost letting Jermaine Ortiz kind of punch himself out a little bit. Oh, and and, and Vassilo Macheco taking two right, two right hands. Still trying to fight with that high guard going to the uh, body. He's got a young, undefeated 26-year-old in front of him who does not want to lose and wants to make a name just like Teofimo Lopez did by fighting Vasil Lomachenko and beating him. And so he's going to do everything that he can, but is it going to be enough? We're going to have to find out. Right hands. Oh, and... and Oh, I'm telling you, Jermaine Ortiz, folks, was keeping him in that fight. Is is he's able to be rangy against Vasil Lomachenko? Oh, and hard punches, both these guys, and you know, Tiafimo's in a fight. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying he's going to lose. I'm not saying that Jermaine Ortiz has worked himself back into the fight, and he's being totally dominant he's not but he's doing enough to keep it close on the scorecards and he's he's obviously doing things to stop Vasil Lomachenko's advances although right there I say that and then cracks him with that uppercut So we are five rounds in. I think Jermaine Ortiz had a fairly good round. He's cut over that that eye. One judge has it for Lomachenko. Another judge has it for, for Lomachenko. And another judge has it even. So Jermaine Ortiz, is he starting to will? Vasil Lomachenko up by four points as we go into the sixth round. Both guys, and you see Jermaine Ortiz, he's cut now. Uh, he didn't come out with the same sort of spring in his step that we saw Vasil Lomachenko. And Vasil Lomachenko is just hoping to kind of pick up where he's left off, wants to go to the body, wants to get on the inside, wants to land those uppercuts and those hooks and make Jermaine Ortiz pay. And Jermaine Ortiz now being punched into the ropes. And if he's going to come back, if he's going to have a moment, he's going to have to kind of do it because Vasil Lomachenko, once he gets into that rhythm, you're not getting him out of it. And once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and follow. Please share these links with your family and friends. We're grateful to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, yeah, you know, a while ago, there was a fan who sent me a list of uh, fights he wanted me to do. And right now, Jermaine Ortiz is hurt. He's, he's busted up. He's taking shots. And I mean, they would probably stop this in real life. I, I can. I'm just going to watch it go on. But he's taking some shots, folks. And um, wow. And I'm, I'm saying, how much did that take out of Vasil Lomachenko? Vasil Lomachenko going to his body. Now, if I'm Vasil Lomachenko, I just keep going to the body. Um, anyway, um, just, yeah, just I'm just grateful. And, um, you know, just want to just keep doing more of these fights. It's fun. I think it's unique. I think it's an interesting way to talk about the sport um, while showing you a fight and, you know, showing you what could actually happen. I'm not saying it's going to. You know, and I know this is just a computer thing and whatnot. And a lot of people like this and a lot of people comment, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I love it all. Oh. Jermaine Ortiz wobbled. And then we're in the final minute of this, the sixth round. And Vasil Lomachenko is taking this over now. I mean, Jermaine Ortiz is going to have to do something to negate what his rival is doing. He was doing so well, but it's just his punch output has gone to nil. And he's been hurt multiple times this round. He's taken multiple shots. There's been multiple unanswered punches. Can Jermaine Ortiz figure a way out of this?
All right, so 10 7, 10 9, 10 7, all for Vasil Lomachenko. And he has taken this over. So, what I hope this doesn't become is one of those fights that we see out here on sometimes on Boxing Time TV where the fighter is, uh, whatchamacallit, where it, it just becomes a rout and, you know, the fighter just, you know, and the thing is, I probably will, knowing my luck, the way that today's gone. Today's just been a weird day, folks. My fish died. Um, I came home and I was just dead at the bottom of the tank. I think it's because people told me to put all this other stuff in the tank. Not the cleaning stuff, but like, like I put like this leaf for him to sit on. I put like this little plant and I, I just think having all that in there, I don't know. I don't know. I cleaned the tank a bunch. Uh, I fed him. Uh, so yeah, just, just, just sad. Oh, right hand from Lomachenko. And I'm telling you, I, I think Jermaine Ortiz is one of those fighters. He gets hurt, but he has great recuperative ability. And I think that's what's going to keep him in this fight. And so, yeah, I, I think we can expect to see Vasil Lomachenko doing this for the next uh, bunch of rounds. Unless Jermaine Ortiz can land something to get his attention. And he's shown the ability to get Vasil Lomachenko's attention. Oh, and he wobbles him. Jermaine Ortiz taking a, two shots to the body. Vasil Lomachenko, wow. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I thought that that was it. I, I thought that that might be it. Vasil Lomachenko, those two shots to the body. He is, he is showing, you know, he's showing why he's high tech. He's showing, you know, his ability, his ability to adapt, his ability to figure out his opponents. Been pretty darn awesome. Oh, and he's wobbled. <laughs> Excuse me, don't mean to cough into the mic. But uh, look at this. Lomachenko now picking his picking his spots, and there's just no output from Jermaine Ortiz. This has to be a 10-7 round for Vasil Lomachenko. It's almost looking like the Richard Comey fight in which Lomachenko was begging the ref to uh, stop it. And next, we'll look at the record of uh, Jermaine Ortiz and then the next round. Let me take a breathing heavy. Ortiz is exhausted. Gash over his eye. 10-7, 10-7, 10-7, just as I predicted. So they could stop this fight in this next round, um, just considering, you know, the shape that Ortiz is in. And I mean, hey, look, folks, he was game for the first four to five rounds. He really gave Vasil Lomachenko a tough fight. And in the first round, he backed Lomachenko up, kind of like Tony Tucker backed up Mike Tyson when Tyson walked into an uppercut. The problem is uh, he just his he just wasn't able to sustain it. It's almost like Vasil Lomachenko made him fight at such a high level that it just wore him out, and that happened. And they are and they are landing. Oh, and 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 L and Ortiz is just hurt. I'm telling you, who knows? We might see a stoppage. I could see the game kind of having pity on him. I mean, he just he's getting hit by everything that Vasil Lomachenko is showing. I mean, he's having moments, but it's almost like Lomachenko maybe is just letting him hit him, just kind of like hey. You know, like, you know, show, hey, I can take these shots, even though I don't think Lomachenko ever wants to get, I don't think any fighter ever wants to get hit. Anyway, the record of Ortiz um, has a victory over Jamal Herring, which I believe had Herring retire. Um, and then, you know, victories over Joseph Adorno. He was dropped twice in that fight. Uh, Jose Castillo-Leal, Raymond Couture, 
and, and then no one else whose name I really remember or know. So, you know, but it, and, and it makes sense. You know, Jermaine Ortiz is just one of those guys, a crafty guy, good, solid guy. You know, you know, it, it's just he's in against Vasyl Lomachenko, and Lomachenko's one of those guys. He takes it out of you. And I give Ortiz credit for getting up, but man. Now Lomachenko just looking for those angles, just landing consistently. Oh, and he wobbles him again with a body shot. But he's really broken him down to the body. That that's also what's been really impressive here for Vasil Lomachenko, as he as he as he has him hurt now. Oh, oh I'm telling you, folks, we don't need to see twelve rounds. Of we know how dominant Vasil Lomachenko is. Do we, really, do we really need to see that? I'm going to say no. Um, you know, Joseph Joe Joseph Parker. I'm sorry, Joe Joe Joyce knocked out Joseph Parker tonight. To you know, just that's a good victory. I don't think Parker had ever been stopped. Apparently it was a brawl from bell to bell. Ten sevens probably all for Vasil Lomachenko. Um, Ortiz is just tired and gashy, blood streaming, and he's coming out. And I give him credit. He's as game as they come. And who knows, maybe he'll stand here and, you know, go out one last stand. But I'm just saying the way things are going, we got four more rounds. I don't know that we need to see a, a prolonged beating for Jermaine Ortiz. Oh, and apparently Floyd Mayweather um, knocked out uh, MMA fighter Makiro uh, Asakara. Um, it, it's, it's exhibition. What's he doing knocking these people out? Floyd Mayweather's bodyguard fought. Oh wow! And um, a guy's Jermaine Ortiz trying to trying to land against Vasil Lomachenko, trying to figure out a way to do it. Kate Galahad lost to Maxi Hughes. Serrano beats Mafood. Wow. So, you know, a good weekend of boxing. And, you know, I, I gave a prediction. I thought that Parker could take a points victory over him just because he had a good chin. And I didn't think the power of Joe Joyce was that crazy. But I'm saying to knock out Joseph Parker, a guy with a good chin, is pretty impressive. And to do it late in the fight, too. All right. <sighs> okay. Guys, I am tired. I would not mind if they stop this or if uh, Lomachenko knocked him out or if I'm um, teased, you know. I, I, I just I don't think we need to see a prolonged beating of uh, of um, uh, what should we call it of uh, Ortiz. Even though that's what we're seeing, it's going to be all ten sevens. That's Lomachenko is so far ahead. Ten sevens, ten eight, ten nine. Wow. So is Ortiz working his way back into this fight? He's behind um, thirty five points.
blow between it'll just pounding or tease along the ropes. Oh, and he's just tattooing him. Oh, and going to the body. <laughs> That's one thing. I don't know, you know, Lomachenko, you know, you don't want to go to the, you don't want to go the distance. I remember Emmanuel Stewart once saying that about James Tony, saying that, you know, going the distance all those times really could take something out of him. And a lot of people felt that that was ultimately true. Lomachenko landing and just driving Ortiz into the ropes. And Ortiz just, folks, his, his punch output is just so nil. And, and they could stop it. Come on, stop it. Stop it, game. Stop it. I always wondered if in this game, if there was a button you could press to stop it. Just wondering, like if you could actually do that. I mean, I know you can do it if you're fighting like simulation and you're like saying, hey, you know, and you're like giving like instructions and they're stopping it. Look at that. It's like the game hurt me. I didn't press a button, I promise. Ortiz cannot see Vasil Lomachenko getting his victory. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in here to Boxing Time TV where our motto is why wait, watch it now, then watch the real thing when it airs. The winners of Vasil Lomachenko by a TKO. The fight lasted 10 rounds. Lomachenko was not knocked down. Ortiz was knocked down one time and has a gash over his eyes. The final score is 88-75. 88-77. 88-77. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Boxing Time TV. Thank you so much for tuning in.